Hey Siri, how do I jailbreak my iPhone? Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to help you with that. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. In this video I've got another method for you guys to install jailbreak apps without jailbreaking on iOS 9.3.2 and 9.3.1. This works on your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch, and the app that it uses is called Xcydia, a takeoff of the jailbreak Cydia application, and I think you guys are going to like this one. It's pretty sweet. Alright guys, so as you can see I have Exidia installed on my device right here. The first step to go ahead and download this onto your device is to open up Safari and go to the following website. It will be down there in the description, but it's xcydia.lmdintracative.com. That's xcydia.lmdinteractive.com. Gotta love incredibly long websites, but it works, so go figure. Uh, thanks to Leon for showing me this website. He's the developer, so go ahead and follow his Twitter down below. Now this app uses profiles to install the app again, just like the other applications I showed you guys on my channel, so it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go ahead and click Xcydia here. You will be brought to the settings application. Go ahead and click install in the upper right and enter your passcode if necessary. Then go ahead and click next in the upper right. Go ahead and click install. Install one more time. And Xcydia will be downloaded onto your device. Go ahead and click the home screen. You can see that Xcydia has just re-downloaded to my device. And you can go ahead and open it up. The application icon actually looks like the original Cydia icon, which is not the most original, but we'll take it. Now, unlike the other applications I've showed you guys, this app is really good for emulators, hacked games, and movie applications. A lot of it I don't contone downloading, and I'm not going to go ahead and download it just because it's illegal. Uh, but Emulators are legal, uh, many of the other applications are legal in the application, and it's really, really helpful. I know some of you guys were having some issues with AirShow, so hopefully this application fixes those issues you were having and allows you to download some even cooler apps as well. So to show you guys how this works, you can go ahead and click an emulator here. I'm going to go ahead and click NDS for iOS. It tells you the specific application instructions on how to download it here, which is very, very helpful. It even tells you if you need the date loophole trick. Just a short explanation of the date loophole trick. This is when you go ahead and download an application. It's not actually downloading, so you're going to have to go and change the date back to 2012 and then re-download the application. If you guys have issues with that, go ahead and click this little box right here. It says, how does the date loophole work? It explains it in depth right here, which is really helpful, unlike the other applications that I have reviewed for you guys. So because this application doesn't require the date loophole, I'm going to go ahead and click install. Click install one more time. That's how you install any application. If it does say yes up here for the date loophole, just go ahead and click the instructions. It'll show you how to actually download it with the date loophole. Super simple, super easy. I'm going to go to my home screen here and as you guys can see, NDS for iOS just installed. Doesn't need any tweaks or anything. Uh, and it, I can go ahead and boot it up. Now when you do download some of these applications, they may say that it has an untrusted app developer. All you have to do is go to your home screen, go to settings, and then go into general, profiles and device management, and scroll down to the application enterprise apps, and go ahead and trust the developer that the application came from. As you guys can see, it has both of these applications listed there. You're gonna go ahead and click trust up here, and it will actually allow you to run the application just like I have shown you on my device. So overall guys, this has a really nice interface. Something I wish it did have was the ability to add sources. I know Mojo and the other applications do have that, but it seems to be really well maintained. So what can you do? I can't really complain. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did go ahead and subscribe for more content, just go ahead and click the subscribe button down there. Also be sure to check out my links below to get paid iOS and Android apps for free. And follow my Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus page, and website down below. As always guys, stay awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.